on the red button. We're going to pick it up in a few moments' time. Northern Ireland, who lost their opening game yesterday, they're taking on Jamaica, and Leon Mann went to meet a Jamaican side who have really been a shining light. Welcome to the Sunshine Chalet, home of Jamaica's Sunshine Girls. <laughs> you nailed it. Okay, up, round up. Marva, there's sunshine all over the world. How did you guys get the nickname the Sunshine Girls? I think we sat down and thought about it. And Trinidad was the Calypso Girls, and then football was the, I think, Reggae Girls. And we just came upon the name Sunshine Girls, and it worked. It really worked. Tell me how popular netball is in Jamaica. It's the number one sport for women and girls in this country. In 1963, the government of Jamaica made it the national sport for women. It was brought to the, the islands by the English expats. And we have adopted it, and I think we have done very well with it. Wouldn't you say that? Okay, now we're heading inside, so come along. This is Nicole, the laughy laughy one. <laughs> Khadija, the attitude one. <laughs> this is Nicole from the country. <laughs> this is our video analysis. He's there doing some work on his computer. This is one of our rooms. My teammate Chantal, my teammate Nicole, and my teammate Denise. And that's the tour of the Sunshine Residence. Thank you for coming. When we crawl, when we step, when we fall in love. I know there's nothing more that we can want but to crawl, but to step, but to fall as one. All, all together. In Jamaica, they don't have a lot of the facilities that we take for granted, I know, in Australia. And I've been to New Zealand and England many times and seen the facilities that they have. When I first came, we are in an indoor venue at the moment, but we were outside on, on hard surfaces in the heat, and that's tough. So, yeah, they do it tough here, but, man, they do it well. When you look at what the other top nations have, you guys would appear to be punching above your weight. They have a lot of resources than us, but we're getting there, and the fact that we're still competing against them, that's just show that we have something to offer as well. Tell me about Jules' role. The players love her. The results that she has gotten in terms of, of skilling our coaches is unprecedented. She's brought a totally different way to how our teams have been coached. They play the boys on a Friday night. One, two, three, seven. When I was coaching the Aussie team, we used to work our butts off to, to do what they do so naturally. And I don't quite think yet they realise just how good they can be. If they put their minds to it and they, they stay focused and concentrate, anything could happen. What is your realistic ambition going to these Commonwealth Games? We're not going there, you know, just to roll over and just to be a part of the top four. We're going there to make a difference and first stand and say, hey, we're Jamaicans. <laughs> We are looking for a total team effort to get the ball to our main shooters. If they don't get the ball, they can't deliver. So we are relying on these back home to really put the work in. Nobody comes here um, not wanting that gold medal. It's, I think it's more of a need now than a want. What would it mean for your career if you were to do well at the Commonwealth Games? Outsiders would see me and would like for me to join a team or something like that, so that's the study. Is it a dream to go to Australia or New Zealand and play? Yes, it's always a netballer's dream to do that, but you just have to put it in the way. Some of the girls are from challenging backgrounds, challenging situations. Do you sometimes worry what they'd be doing if it wasn't for netball? I wouldn't want to say on air what I think they'd be doing. <laughs> But we really are proud to tell you that all of our Sunshine Girls now are either at high school, at university, or have graduated from universities and are, are in careers. If they work hard on court, 
we have committed ourselves to work as hard off court to facilitate their on court performance. And we know that one day they're going to do it for this country.